Hey everybody, I'm Kara and I talk to wine. So today is all about pairing food and wine. So I am giving you your food and wine tips and tricks. So just a really basic example of how to pair food and wine, okay? So we're gonna do it like this. I'm gonna present a wine to you, wine I love, and then a food, hello, and we're gonna put them together and see what kind of magic we can create and kind of learn the tips and tricks of food pairing along the way, all right? So, starting with wine. So that's how I like to do it. So I like to look at a wine, analyze it, have it hit the palate, and then do that for the food, and then put them together and see what happens. So we're gonna start with a wine called J.D. Bahar, and this is from Italy. This is an Italian red from Barolo. So Barolo is in this northwestern area of Italy. It's very famous for a grape called Nebbiolo. All right, so this is a Nebbiolo grape from the Barolo DOCG. So, Dinamanazione Origine Crontolata Garantita. Man, that is a, that's a mouthful, but that just means it's a very esteemed area for growing grapes, all right? So, bada bing. Now, I like to look at a wine, smell a wine, taste a wine, and really get its presence. So this Nebbiolo, nice light color, that's a signature trait of Nebbiolo. And it has a very pale concentration, almost a garnet color. A lot of Italian wines give off this like garnet color. Ooh, smelling this one, it is just bursting with red fruits, roses, it's got this mossiness, it's got this rustic nature to it. It just smells like it has wisdom. It smells like a wise wine, it's interesting. Dried fruits, dried leaves. Mmm, herbs, spices, it's just so aromatic and intriguing. On the palate. Mm. What I love about Nebbiolo is it's so full of what's called acid and tannin. Two important parts when you think about pairing wine and food. So acid makes your mouth water. So I'm almost spitting on the camera. There's so much acid in this wine. It's just making my mouth water. And then tannin is something that dries your mouth out. It's just a phenolic compound. It makes it feel bitter. So I'm also feeling like I've got a little, kind of like dry mouth, dry mouth. Right, so, and what's cool about this wine is it gives you dry mouth, but then it gives you the acid to kind of refresh you. So it's really cool. And all kinds of flavors here. A lot of those same dried fruits, rustic, earthy flavors um, that I felt, dried roses. It's just got this, you know, signature. Like, you, it's hard to emulate Nebbiolo. You just can't do it. So that's this wine. So I know what it gave me on my palate. I know what everything is going on. So what I wanna do is I wanna use food to enhance this wine and I wanna use food, or <laughs> wine, to bring a new um, element and enhance food. So I'm using pizza, because it's Italy. Yes, it's cliche, but it really does work. It's really cool. So what we're gonna do, there's actually three C's to food and wine pairing, which when you read my book, you'll learn all of them, but I'm just gonna give you the compensation C. That just means we're using a food and a wine to compensate. So I wanna use this food to relax the wine, to bring in a bit more fruit and make it even more pleasing. And I'm gonna use the wine to add this extra dimension to a food. So that's a compensation C of the three Cs. So you can use this uh, pairing when you have friends over, when you have a party, when you have pizza, and when you have memory All right, so let's see if it actually works. Let's see if my theory is correct. So we've coated our palate with the wine. Let's just do that one more time. So the way I like to do it when you pair food and wine is coat your palate with the wine first. So do this. Mm -hmm. Let it hit you. And then take a bite of your food. So take a bite of pizza or whatnot. It's a hard life, I tell you. Coat your palate with the food. Let it kind of enjoy it. And then take another sip of the wine. Yum. What happened? So you're gonna experience it when you, of course, do this. But what happened for me is the cheese and the salt and those kind of veggies and olivey notes from this veggie pizza really made my wine soften. I didn't feel as much tannin. And it brought out more of the fruit and it brought more of the pleasing elements 
out of the wine. And it almost highlighted the spicy nature of this Nebbiolo. Really cool. But then what the wine did, when I took that next sip after the bite, it actually made the flavors of the pizza enhanced and lingering. So both of these wine and the food had more of a lingering, pleasing presence on my palate. Pretty cool, right? Food and wine, tips and tricks, there you go. So feel free, do this tasting, do this pairing. I think you will enjoy it. And look out for If Wine Could Talk, because it's coming out soon. You'll get all kinds of information about more food and wine, everything you want to know about the basics of wine. So I look forward to having you read my book. I look forward to seeing you next week. And uh, cheers.